Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning February 8th, 2021. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm going to be making some extra content for this week. We might do a love meditation, you know, something along those lines. So be sure to check that out. And of course, as of the recording of this video, famous last words, but I am ahead of schedule on personal readings. I've been posting that everywhere. Uh, so if you want to get a personal reading with me, now is the time. Just go to angelsouls444.com. And of course, please don't forget that I have lots of content over at Gumroad. That is gumroad.com slash angelsouls. Okay. Are you ready? Y'all ready for this? <laughs> Here we go. Um, it's been a strange week. We've had some things happening. Um, last week we had a card pop up that was about darkness and things just kind of being in a gray area. And yes, we had some things happen outwardly, but I, I know for me, there was a huge revelation that came through and I'm going to pass that along to you all for this week. So please make sure that you are sharing these videos, not just so I'm popular on YouTube, but genuinely these are messages I think that need to get out if you think they'll be helpful for other people. But we need to, if we're talking about waking up, we all need to start waking up to, we've been talking about this forever, to a program, okay? Waking up to a program. Last week I had this thought, dang, I bet I have paid my debt off 20 times over. If I had to be refunded all of the fees that banks have charged for maintenance, you know, what have you, where would I be financially right now? And I know I've had, and please comment down below if you guys, I want to hear your experiences. And of course, I want us all to be a very supportive community here so we can help each other out. But um, I started remembering some past uh, sexual harassment moments that left me very drained and controlled and manipulated um, times in the workplace where people were so convinced that they knew the truth about me and they could not have been further from the truth and how they felt very open to be abusive and how that affected me. And so there was this whole kind of cracking open. And when this occurred, I started, you know, as I do, I'm a spiritual practitioner. So I reach out to my spiritual team and to the angels and the archangels and I didn't get an answer right away in my meditations. But as I was waking up this morning, and this typically happens on days that I'm going to film, I wake up with a message in my head and here we go. There are layers upon layers of things that are functioning in this world uh, that we have been conditioned to believe would be normal, even down to worrying about finances, right? Uh, worrying about how are you going to pay for things? And, you know, if you can't pay for things, then it's going to, at least here in the U.S., it's going to hit a credit score. And if it hits your credit score, guess what? You may not have shelter. You may not be able to get a house. You may not be able to get an apartment. So this very basic human need now becomes this pulsing worry at the back of your head. Now what are you going to do? You're going to do whatever you got to do, right? So you'll take whatever job, whether it drains your soul or not so that you can get a paycheck and you can take care of yourself. This isn't revolutionary. It was revolutionary to me, but because <laughs> I realized in my own life where I allowed myself to worry about things and to stress about things and is it really worth it? And even down to, I've had some very unusual circumstances in my life um, from escaping very dangerous people with my family um, when I was little to, I don't know, just kind of being a magnet, it seemed, for people who wanted to victimize others. Or, as I was starting to understand this morning, people who perhaps had their innocence taken away and therefore wanted to feed on someone else's innocence and wanted to recharge themselves. And they get into a swirl of desperation and they don't know how else to cope and so on and so on. But that's just one example. But the sexual harassment that started to really come up, it was affecting me very, very deeply. And there was this giant question of why? How did I get targeted? 
And then all these, like I said, all these other things started to break open. I started to have these realizations and then it dawned on me, this is still taking pieces of me so many years later. And isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting? So someone can come and cross your boundaries, take energy from you, threaten your livelihood. And years later, they still are getting your energy. Now, as I say that, that does not mean, oh, let's just get over it. No, you have to heal through it. You have to process it. And that's what I'm doing now too. But being in the light, working on a higher consciousness, that is what we all have to be doing now. We have got to start unplugging from, you know, healing and processing through, of course, but I'm plugging from things that feel like threats, okay? Even people, if you see people making choices out in this world about who they're with as far as partnership or um, what kind of job they take, where do they live? You know, these are all things that at some point they were conditioned to think that they're not worth anything unless they have this stuff, yes? And so that is what we need to, I know we know this. Again, I realize on the surface level and intellectually speaking, this is not <laughs> groundbreaking, but we need to feel what that really means. What is it truly? Is it some, you know, the origin of these things? Everybody has their take on it. Maybe you're somebody who, you know, believes it comes from an otherworldly source. And so we're all kind of programmed to be afraid and, um, you know, having to follow the rules or else. Um, some others think that there is some other, you know, dark evil thing going on. I can't say too much in a video, but you know what I'm saying? Some dark evil thing going on that they feed off of and all of that stuff. And I'm kind of, you know, <laughs> I'm just one of those people. I'm just going to be right here in the middle, uh, holding on to my light. And I hope you'll do the same holding on to my light and realizing that everything that brings us pain is going to start being more and more evident. And I think most of us are going to get fed up. We are going to start, and it's not, I mean, some people have a soul's path and purpose to get out there and to talk about things and you know what I'm saying? But for others, it's going to be um, this internal shift but what does that look like? We talk about that all the time, but what the heck is it? That is looking at and discovering, oh my gosh, uh, especially during the things that have been happening in 2020, um, if your job has been threatened or, you know, the economy has been threatened, right? Um, you know, you might say, I'm worried about how I'm going to pay my bills. Stop and remember, <laughs> it's part of the conditioning. You're supposed to be stressed about money. You're supposed to be in debt so someone can smack your hand and say, shame on you for being in debt. I have a product I can sell you. You're supposed to eat terrible food because you got to have it, got to have it. Isn't this great? But when you do, you're going to be sick. And here are these other solutions that can be sold to you. Again, not groundbreaking, but let's not forget. And let's not dismiss this, okay? So being in our light, what does that mean? Coming into the heart space. And we'll do this even here together if you want. Let's just do it right now. So get comfortable. I'm just gonna do it really quick here and bring your attention into your heart space. Whatever it is that you're going through, whether it's a breakup, loss of a job, you don't know how you're gonna pay your rent, uh, your mortgage, you don't know where you're gonna live, whatever is setting you on edge, Imagine this is a safe space where that story doesn't exist. Right in your heart. Breathe in. Breathe out. And in this heart space, there is peace, love, harmony, beauty, and grace. And this is a safe place for you. This is the portal to your soul, who you authentically are. 
and that exists in this light that's within you. You can call this a God light, source light, universal light, divine love, whatever you're comfortable with. And breathe it in. Now let it expand. Let it come around you, above you and below you, and breathe in the power of this light around you. And now send it out. Send this light out. Let it connect with other people's light. I can feel you guys. I love this. <laughs> I love it. Uh, we feel our siblings. We're connecting with our siblings. Send that light in a prayer for protection for every child and every good person. And remember, a lot of us maybe make poor decisions because we are in a place of fear or pain. And when you realize you've made a mistake, don't you go into fear and guilt and shame, which is a low frequency. That's what it's there for. Think about how often people will come and try to drag you down by insulting you, making you question your decisions, questioning who you think you are. It's all there by design to drain us. So can we all set an intention here to say no to that, to command that darkness leaves in the name of all that is good and love and grace. And for me, I would say in the name of Jesus Christ, I would say God is with me, but you interpret that however you are comfortable. And we vow to make a different choice, to be a part of higher consciousness and bringing light into this world and not contributing to darkness. Amen, and so it is. So we can do that every single day. You can wake up in the morning and make sure, they're even saying right now, it's pretty imperative that we all get into this habit of uh, as soon as we, wake up in the morning doing, you know, higher consciousness meditation or just bringing light, connecting into the light. This is going to become more and more apparent about why we need to do this. Please do not get hung up on surface level stories. We are being fed one that is just going to blow your mind. Okay. This is the year that things are going to break open. I'm not the only spiritual practitioner out there who's picking up on that and saying it. Um, so let's just be aware but what we can do is help by contributing our own light. And when you find yourself getting stressed, getting um, worried about this, that, and the other, and you really start getting into a mind block around these fears, ask yourself, do I want my energy to be taken or do I want to connect into the light and ask for guidance? Let's get onto the cards. Okay, let's see what we have here. And because Valentine's Day is this week, we'll do, like I said in the beginning, I'll do some extra content. So as a reminder, make sure you tune into that. On the surface, this is a great time of revelation. <laughs> All the cards just went right out of my hands. Okay, sorry. There's too many of them for that to have been it. So we're just gonna check my mic and we're gonna keep going. <laughs> Let's try this again. Uh, it, it's going to be a nice time of realizing things and letting go and having the power to let go. Watch for um, answers to come in very unexpected ways. Again, that happened to me just this morning where I meditated last night one of those uh, situations that I was in, 
I really wanted to understand because there was something about it where I couldn't help but be pulled in and feel empathetic, you know, and feel bad because I could see in this person that they were lonely and scared. And I could see, I could see and sense their inner child and what that inner child had gone through. But I couldn't piece that together. And then I was guided to someone else's story this morning and they articulated it in such a perfect and profound way that helped me understand. And I know that I was guided to that video so that I could have some realization and release. All right, so first card out here, we have take time to breathe out disseminating moon. So this is definitely letting go of some of those uh, toxic moments, that feeling of toxicity, all of those things that we've been talking about that really get us all sort of uh, riled up. And um, whether it's, I mean, I'm not going to start naming names because, <laughs> or, or situations even, I'm not going to do that. This is saying exhale. So taking time to breathe out, this is exhaling, it's letting go, and it's getting past some of these mind blocks and um, understanding it's time for a fresh perspective so that we have freedom to let go. Can you hear this nonsense? It's freaking February. What could they possibly be doing out there? The grass is dead, okay? <laughs> I don't know. Conclusions are within reach, full moon eclipse. We are coming to the end of an era. We are shutting the door and shutting down the things that are not fair. We are taking things that we have always just, you know, been told this is just how it is and you just have to fall in. You guys, back when I was going through all that sexual harassment, one of my coworkers walked in. You ready for this? I got two coworkers to tell you about. One walked in, saw someone assaulting me and turned around and left, did nothing. And then when I saw her later on that evening, she kept uh, making these snide remarks to embarrass me in front of everybody and to tear me down. Yet another coworker had come in and I told her and she laughed. She laughed, she thought it was funny. And then at some point later on, when this was coming up again, because it was a problem that went on for a long time, she said, oh, grow up. These things happen in the corporate environment. You can't be so weak. Tell me that's not conditioning. Tell me that's not messed up. Tell me that. <laughs> that is how sick everybody is right now, okay? I don't even know what I would do if I walked in and saw someone getting assaulted, okay? Well, I do know. I'd probably jump in. I, I'm not a good fighter. I've never fought in my life, but I would find something to pick up, okay? I would try, <laughs> like the stapler's gonna have to do, okay? Whatever we have to do to make sure that person is safe, that's what's gonna happen. I can't imagine. And these are all women too, by the way. Okay, um, and I bring that up because I'm a little shocked that they didn't back up another woman who was in a situation that we women get subjected to quite often. Not that it doesn't happen to men, but you know what I'm saying? Like we, I think it happens disproportionately enough to, uh, to women. So anyway, we're waking up to this stuff. We're going to start going, you know what? It's not okay. And stop saying that it is. Stop laughing it off. Stop diminishing other people who are going through it. Okay, then we have bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius. Remember, we just connected into our hearts. Mm -hmm. There it is. So it's time to be in the light, guys. Don't forget the light. Don't go into guilt and to shame. Don't go into that. Even if you've made a mistake, process that mistake, forgive yourself and move on through it. Okay, it's time to love ourselves as well, not in a narcissistic way. Narcissists um, have some of the most broken wiring and they are the ones who are, you know, it depends on the person, I suppose. But if we're speaking in very broad terms here and not from like a psychological standpoint, but <laughs> they're the people that have, you know, shut down their uh, empathy, maybe because feeling was too dangerous for them or what have you, but I'm telling you, don't go down that road. Just don't go down that road. Bring love into this situation. How can we be more loving and kind to one another? All right. And then we have balance. I, I knew this was going to come up. I know that doesn't mean anything to you because I didn't say that I thought it was going to come up but in my brain. I knew it was going to come up. Balance, spirituality, and practicality, full moon in Pisces. And so now we're tapping into what really matters. And it's amazing when we do this and we balance that spirituality with the practicality and realize like, okay, 
you know, I can't just wait for the universe to just show up and give me a million dollars. I better get out there and work for what I have um, if I can find something, right? Um, but you have to be willing to listen to the guidance that comes in. I can't tell you guys, uh, uh, you know, when I get people who come in for personal readings, I will have people coming and they still want this psychic style reading. They want it. They want me to tell them the outcome of a legal case. So they want me to tell them whether they should stay in their marriage or leave, or they want me to tell them whether they should quit their job or not. You know, the way, I'm an energy reader. Okay, so that's a little bit different. And you come to me with a reading and you open up and give permission in that way, we're going to go right into how to get you into a higher consciousness. That way, you get your own clarity, right? And you can feel empowered to make your own decisions. So I'll reflect back things in your energy that you're getting hung up on. That might be a block or, you know, something along those lines. But what I'm getting at here is that, you know, I think, I think a lot of us want to lean on either spirituality, spiritual readers, what have you, for all the answers. Remember, these are not, anybody who's in my profession, we're not there to tell you how to live. Nobody should be doing that. We're here to reflect back to you, to help you have a different perspective so that you can bring some practicality into the situation and balance yourself out and be empowered. Anybody who is telling you something different and they're trying to label you, remember the 1111 woman? A psychic told her that she was an 1111 person. That doesn't exist, it's not a thing. This so is somebody that she paid. The psychic, I can tell you right now what the psychic did. The psychic tuned in, um, found her to be very egotistical. I said it, egotistical, okay? And was trying to feed her ego by making her think that she had some special powers um, and that this was like a secret club or something. It does not exist. It was totally made up so that this psychic woman probably could just get more money out of her and not get yelled at. You know, I mean, that happens too. So this person, her ego fed, within one evening, spent all that time sitting next to me and diminishing me. She even insulted my outfit and <laughs> trying to say that I, it was wild guys. I like, you know, I don't know. I'm going to bother you with this story. I mean, it was just wild what this person was saying. If you come across somebody who's doing that, they're just appeasing you and they're just, you know, trying to get you. Some people are the charlatans and they are trying to lower your frequency so that you have to depend on them. I really feel like I need to put this out there because we're in a time where we don't got time for that mess, okay? We don't got no time for that mess. Tell everybody, okay? And the ones that are really here <laughs> to help raise consciousness, to help raise awareness, to help us see things a little bit differently so that we can move on and get into this new age, man, and to take a, you know, a much more loving approach to everything. We need to start speaking out about that stuff so people wake up to it. All right. So let's get a color card. Hopefully it's something nicer this week. <laughs> I don't know. We'll make our own peace, right? Okay. Oh, that feels like it should be it right there. Let's see. <laughs> we have, oh yes, indigo, improve your vision. Oh, now that spooked me out. Okay. Okay. And I do this for a living and this is awesome. <laughs> okay. Uh, the number is 40. Improve your vision. You guys tune in to your intuition and start waking up. Look at what is really there. See it for what it really is. And don't use your spiritual abilities as a way to feed your ego. Please stop doing that. It's disgusting. I can't do it no more. I just can't. I can't watch people do it. <laughs> it doesn't put us above anybody else, okay? We're all here trying to help in the way that we can. So don't put yourselves on a pedestal. Humble. Humble. Okay, try it. See what happens. Um, but anyway, <laughs> tune into your, uh, your higher consciousness, guys. It's going to be all about that. Or if you don't like the term higher consciousness, you can think of it as expanded awareness. All right. Tap into the light. Tap into the love. It's time to get to work. All right. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.